I have a question that I have been meaning to ask you. Um, I'm mean, sure one of the many dozens that come in and out of my mind, but it's it's really relevant to a piece that you did later. And then I'm going to get to the fan questions. Sure. In the arc of truth, um, we have probably the MacGuffin to end all MacGuffins. We're going to go th go through the super gate. We're going to go into uh, the Ori galaxy, and we're going to find this thing that's that's been buried for millions of years. That that. Uh, Daniel read about that should help us win the war. Um, was it your intention? There's a little bit of talk about this between Daniel and Vala. Maybe it's maybe the Ark of Truth is capable of making you believe other things that are that are true as well. Maybe it's maybe we're supposed to believe certain things. And I have always wanted to know. And was it your intent then? And is it is it your intent looking back? Uh, that the technology explained why something was true to someone or could the programmer just make the person believe whatever they wanted to believe, essentially brainwashing this? Ask, ask Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. it's so it's so much kind of related to that now. I mean, I, I saw it as a... Uh, it was not it was not a repository of true facts it was a device that that gave you the ability to see the truth so if you had a multiple choice test and there were five answers you would and four of them were lies and one of them was the truth you would know which one was the truth and and I know that sounds like magic, but that's what it, that that's essentially what it was was a a way of of convincing you that what you were believing in was a lie. So so in other words, if there was some magic button you could push on social media and have everybody, I mean, they wouldn't want to. That the problem is people don't want to believe. The truth sometimes right no, they and want they want what they believe to be true they want what they believe to be true yeah. and, and whatever has gone on in their lives they are so uh i mean again i'm not taking sides on any facts i'm just saying that in in many cases what you have are people who are brainwashed mm -hmm. and and what the arc of truth was was an unbrainwashing device that would yeah relieve you of that um you know condition under which you were convinced to you know and, and to a certain extent we had sort of explored it a little bit in the past with with the jaffa and mm -hmm. and the you know um gold brainwashing mm -hmm. where we had to somehow break that and it was a much more arduous process um you know, particularly in the case of Teal, where we had to, you know, break the brainwashing um, the second time around. But but that that the the, the arc of truth was a was essentially a device that would reset you to the ability to see the truth. Okay, so it it parted clouds by removing your own stigmas and foibles from it. Yeah, whatever, whatever it is in the brain that's sort of, you know, caused you to believe the wrong thing. Now, again, how does that? How do you determine what is right, right and what is wrong? wrong? What, what is the what is the fact database on which it's, you know, on its built? I, yeah, right. But I think I think to some extent what it's doing. And again, this is total magic, so I don't know how. Right. <laughs> don't don't get me into the mechanisms of it. But but rather than <laughs> telling you what the truth is, it's allowing you to see it better, right? It's it's so maybe on some level, you you see two facts and you know one to be true to some extent, but you choose to believe the other one because it helps you more. And so mm -hmm. you become ingrained, like it's it's making you rich or it's getting you something that you want to believe in this fact to to mm -hmm. to to say you believe in this fact and then the more you say it the more you mm -hmm. you start to believe it but 
deep down, you kind of know this other thing to be true. If you, if somehow it was to your great advantage to say the sky is purple, and you walked around saying the sky is purple, uh, deep down, you're looking up and going, I know that sky is blue. You're just choosing to say the mm -hmm. sky is purple for all these other reasons. And uh, I guess in some magical world, the arc of truth would be like, no, come on, this guy. Mm -hmm. The emperor has no clothes. Right. And I think uh, it's also telling that when you open it up, it emits nothing but light. Um, where you're shining, uh, shining a light on, you're shining right? a light. It's, it's a bit of a, yeah. I mean, it, look, it's, it's kind of a visual <laughs> cliche, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, you're shining a light on 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 something where you know darkness is the uh, uh, you know the friend of of uh, untruths. Yeah, absolutely. And we'd better be very careful as to where we store that thing, because if someone figured out how to reprogram it um, to to make someone believe something else, you could you could have quite a, a hellish device on your hands. Right, but again, that would that would be that back to our chat GBT um, uh, conversation, where yeah, if you were feeding, if it were a fact spitting machine, mm -hmm. and you were able to feed the facts into it, that's different than a device that resets your brain to okay. be able to understand what is true and what is not. Now, obviously, if we were all told something from the moment we were born, we'd all believe it. It's not it's not within our control to mm -hmm. see through those lies. But but um you know I I I don't, I don't know how to construct that type of machine. <laughs> uh, uh, but it was interesting to to think, wish that it, something like that existed. It would be an easy way to undo, uh, a, you know, people who believed in, in something that was so harmful. Yeah, know? obviously detrimental. But then again, it goes back to the larger existential question. Who's truth? You know? Right. And that's right. what I love about science fiction. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.